fifth year running for the Wells Fargo Advisors Endless Summer Invitational. We are into the semifinal matchups. Of course, it takes a village to put this all together. A huge thanks to all of our sponsors with a special shout out to Prairie Organic Spirits and our good friends over at Ralph's. We take a look at how it shapes up here with four names left, Jeff Farley, and uh, Brian Kelly and Kyle Berkshire will be the first two to match up here in semifinal number one. Yeah, the Texan Brian Kelly against Berkshire from out there on the East Coast in Maryland. See what they got. Kelly set the tone in his first quarterfinal matchup by zinging one out there with ball number one. That is not going to be the case here in the semis as that one goes high and out of bounds right. Yeah, Kyle's been on a roll already this year, so... You know, I expect him to step up with another big number. Uh, it's just going to be a matter of which ball because he's not going to fill up the grid. He had the longest ball of the competition so far. Here is his first in the semifinal, and that one, too, is right and out of bounds. So both players still looking for their first ball into the grid here in the semis. Yeah, Brian Cal Kelly is struggling a little bit. He looks a little fast to me right now. He's got to slow it down. Think about tempo. Well, within game adjustments can not always be an easy thing to find, especially for these competitors here on this very tough, narrow grid. Yeah, we got the crank driver here versus the Callaway. Should be a fun little equipment matchup. He had one out there at 439 in the quarterfinals. That one approaching a similar distance. It's out past 430. 430, I didn't know a Srixon could go that far, although it's one of the best balls out on the market. So they're putting it to the test. Brian Kelly looking to respond and that one will drift right and out of bounds into the trees. And we just get the number in as you hear the crowd, 433 for Kyle Berkshire on ball number two. And here comes his third. That is a bomb. And you know, these players are hitting the Srixon on XV, which is a performance ball. Uh, more like what guys on tour would play. So they're very, they're enjoying hitting a premium ball out there. He liked it off of the club face, but I don't think it's gonna stay in as it drifts oh over toward gosh. the sand trap, but another 400 plus. Wow, oh, just out of bounds down the right side. And so now it's Kelly still looking for his first in the grid as the players will swap sides here on the tee box. Yeah, Brian Kelly has got to just slow it down, like I said. Just get one in to build some confidence would be a good start. That looks like he slowed it down a little sure smoother. Did. Oh yeah, he slowed that down big time. So that's going to hopefully build his tempo. Now he can reach bounds. back for a little bit more power there, Mark. Yeah, he still needs about another 60, 70 yards if he's going to catch up to what Kyle Berkshire did with ball number two at 433. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Kyle falls down again. He wants to get that 450 number, I have no doubt. Well, it's crazy when you watch his swing, Jeff, because you can see the left foot and left hit, hip actually open up as he makes contact with the ball. Yeah, that's a great observation, Mark. You know, Kelly's bringing more of a golf swing to the table. It's just intimidating when a guy throws a big number out there on you like that. That one will drift out of bounds again for Brian Kelly. So here we have Kyle Berkshire. This is his fifth ball. Only one in the grid so far, but it's done the trick. Yeah, he doesn't like it immediately letting the crowd know. If you couldn't see the ball flight, it does drift right and out of bounds. All right, Kelly, let's see what you got. You got one ball to shine here. Let's see if he can put a little gas. Crowd likes it. They yeah, like got it. it. But not probably going to be enough. That one out around yep, the 360, 370, probably around the 375 number. Not going to be enough to catch Kyle Berkshire, who hit 433. So no need for the youngster to hit his sixth and final ball as he will move on. We go down to the tee box once again with Jeff. Hey, great, great performance out here. You really, really hit it well. Yeah, I came up a little short there. I think you beat me by about 100 yards. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being out here. This is unbelievable. First time out. I hope I come back every year. This is this is great. Thank you all so much, Kyle. Fantastic job, man. I look up to you as a hitter, even though you're about 10 years younger than me. You know, hold on, Brian. I want to comment on one thing you said. You said he beat me by 100 yards. Some people can't even hit the ball 100 yards. Yeah, that's all right. You get beat by 100 yards in long drive, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Good performance, way to, way to compete. Hey Kyle, I know why I lost you at the World Championships a couple years back. Yeah, just you know, just keep trying to groove it and find the center face, flight it well and keep the spin low and just let it run. 
You're hitting some monster balls. Welcome to the finals, my friend. Thank you. I am very excited. Just keep doing what you're doing, Kyle. It has worked so far. That number of 433 didn't even need his sixth and final ball as he had enough to put himself as our first finalist, as you heard Jeff just mentioned. But the question becomes, who will he face? Ryan Steenberg and Eddie Fernandez mounting up and getting ready for the second semifinal and the right to take on this man. Kyle Berkshire has been putting on a show all afternoon here in Huntington Beach.